Hello YouTube. Uh, this is a little bit of a closer up video of, uh, of the Ruger P90 that, uh, that I had. Um, just kind of wanted to, to bring these up. Uh, I know actually Forgotten Weapons just came out with a, uh, I think the Ruger P95 uh, video, and then it wasn't too long ago, somebody else covered uh, the Ruger P series of pistols. And if you were to get into the gun collecting hobby and you were in a free state that, you know, at this point isn't heavily restricting um, any of your purchases or anything like that, if you were going to get into collecting, the Ruger P series of pistols actually offers a wide array of models to go after. I would say the Smith & Wesson line of pistols, um, there's a myriad of revolvers and then uh, the steel frame semi-autos, but those are going up in price with, you know, inherent collector value, whereas the, the P series of Ruger pistols, uh, both the polymer frames and the aluminum cast frames, um, can still be regularly found at most gun shops and most pawn shops for a very, I would say, reasonable price. Again, this is if you were going to get into collecting. And, and these pistols actually aren't, I would say, aren't that terrible. Um, I know the, the cast uh, uh, word gets thrown around and a lot of companies are associated with that. And, you know, people tend to be a little bit weary, but Ruger um, has investment casting. And it's one thing that they have perfected. Some some stories on forums of the uh, the lugs uh, getting sheared off, and uh, supposedly with the newer series of the 45 model, and I believe the nine millimeter model, uh, the the lugs they have on the frame are polymer. Um, those can be subject to cracking, but I, I've yet to really investigate too much on that. Um, but all in all, a a really good uh, really good pistol all around. Well, the the various models, I mean. Now, the Ruger uh, 45 ACP models uh, come in three different ones. You have the classic P90 here. Uh, you also have the polymer framed uh, P97. And then you have the somewhat newest iteration, would, which would be the P345. And the P345 has a polymer frame, but it's a lot more sleek looking than the P97. The, the second generations of these, where they tried to do the polymer frame, just look really big and clunky. I mean, they're great pistols, but um, aesthetically they don't look as good as the newer models of the P345s, which um, the newest models have been discontinued. Now I believe they have the SR uh, variants of Ruger pistols. Um, with these pistols, I was going to mention the only funky thing, and this is a snap cap here, uh, is to take this down, the aluminum frame ones have a captured takedown pin. But one of the things that, that might be confusing when you first pick it up is, let's lock this to the back. Alrighty, so to take this apart, um, it's going to be a little bit different than what most people are used to. Uh, obviously, go ahead and eject your mag. Um, what, kind of the learning curve here, um, when you take these down, the ejector is part of this metal flap. So see how I, I just put that down? That whole piece goes downward. And what that'll allow you to do is take the slide back here, take your slide lock lever out, and in the aluminum frame, I'm not sure of the, the polymer or the 345 variants, but uh, it is captured. And what you're able to do at that point is then take this off the rails. Mine's just a teeny bit sticky, but uh, but anyway, that just uh, lets you take that off apart just like that, as you guys can kind of see, kind of some of the the casting in inside there, and then it's milled. And I mean, these things, from what I've seen, are pretty darn strong. I've read a couple of reports of the aluminum frame lugs shearing off, but uh, I'm, I'm unsure as to, to how many rounds they had downrange which, with each of those. I just kind of keep mine lightly, uh, uh, you know, greased up to prevent any kind of extreme friction. And then that allows me to, to go ahead and... Let me get this back on here. That allows me to go ahead and... Uh, keep mine in uh, pretty good shape. I'll try and not scratch that. And then to get the uh, the flat back up there, go ahead, take your magazine, insert it, which that's its design. And then from there, you're, you're good to go. So uh, what I typically do on these is I do keep a snap cap in there. I don't, uh, I don't dry fire these at all since it is cast. I just want to be as careful as possible, even though the firing pins are still floating around. Um, but, uh, but all in all, yeah, do talker right in here and then I can eject my mag and then I'm good to go. But, uh, but great pistols all around. Uh, again, circling back to possibly collecting, uh, the Ruger P series of pistols are actually quite fantastic. You'll notice that there's also 
also lanyard loop options. Since there's a lot of different parts online that you can buy, you can actually delete this and go with something else. Same thing with the grips, you're able to take these off and there's a few different offerings for uh, for grip panels for, for this particular model. Um, you're kind of stuck with what you got with the, the Ruger P97 and P345, but with this, at least you can come with something a little bit more unique. Um, all in all, yeah, good, good pistol. Great pistols to get into uh, in terms of, uh, of collecting and then fairly accurate. Obviously, these aren't going to be tag drivers, but they're still going to be pretty decent for what they are. Um, anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, there's a plethora of videos out there that, that go in depth and cover these things. Um, so I'm not going to go into the hyper detail of the, of the business or the company. Just wanted to give a few close up shots uh, and then ramble a teeny bit. Um, but other than that, I want to say thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll try and reply to the, uh, the comments that you leave below. But uh, like I mentioned in other videos, I only check uh, the comments when I, when I upload new videos. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.